everyone, my name is Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. So this video is one that was requested by one of you guys a little while ago and I thought that now would be the perfect time to do it since we're all getting very accustomed with our own bedrooms and also because I feel like bedrooms on Disney Channel were just so memorable. They were so much cooler than any bedroom I would ever get to have and so I was really excited to pick my top 10 for you guys today. But before we jump right into it, I did just want to mention that this list is only going to be focusing on the shows, mainly because I didn't want to scroll through every single Disney Channel movie just to see what their bedrooms looked like, but also because I feel like it was more of a thing on the show to have a cool bedroom than it was in the movies. Maybe that's just because I was watching the shows more regularly and so I remember their rooms more because we saw them more often. I'm not sure. But I also wanted to mention that this list is going to be a little bit different than some of my other top 10 lists, mainly because I couldn't find like a good clip for every show to like showcase the room. So instead of that, you're going to have to deal with me explaining the room. And so I just wanted to apologize in advance for you having to listen to my voice for the next 10 minutes. But um, that's just the way it goes sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, with all that being said, let's just jump right into it. So at number 10, we have Bia's room from Bia. Now, since my audience is mainly based in the US, I will explain Bia a little bit for those of you who might not be familiar with it. Bia is a show from Disney Channel Latin America and it follows this girl who's an artist. And so her room does a really great job of reflecting that. She lives in an apartment building with her family. And so her room is a little bit smaller. That's why it's like number 10 on this list. But every time I watch the show, I'm just so in awe with her room. I'm obsessed with it and I want it. Basically you walk in and she has her bed in the middle of the room right in front of like this beautiful big set of windows and on the left side she's got like her little art station and on the other side she has a desk with her computer right beside a chalkboard wall which I just feel like was the epitome of coolness as a child I remember always wanting a chalkboard wall but then on the other side of her wall she has more drawings and her little bike rack which I think is just so adorable but I feel like the main thing that really makes this room stand out is the drawings like everything in her room feels like it has a personality because she's like doodled on it the little eyes she has on her bed are so cute and then the little drawings she has on her window I'm just obsessed with. Yeah, I feel like that was also every kid's dream to just be able to draw on everything that they own And so I love Bia's room. I'm obsessed with it and I wish it was mine so at number nine, we have Teddy's room from Good Luck Charlie. And I feel like I could not be the only one that's just been obsessed with this room ever since I was little. First of all, it's in the basement, which I just feel like was such a cool concept when I was little. I remember when I turned 12, I got to move my room to the basement and it was like such a big deal. I was so excited. But back to Teddy, even the entrance to her room is cool. They also have a chalkboard wall in their basement. And then right beside that, she's got like this big sliding door that leads into her bedroom. And then once you enter her room, she's got her own bathroom and a desk. But then what's definitely the best part of her room is her like loft bed situation. She's got her her bed on top of this like wooden platform and she's got a beanbag chair and it's carpeted and I don't know what's so special about having your bed just like slightly off of the ground but I was obsessed with it as a kid and I still am till this day I think it's really cool and I want it so at number eight I have Skye's room from the lodge and I feel like for the most part people are familiar with the lodge now that's on Disney plus but in case you're not the show is basically about this girl who goes and lives at the lodge her mom grew up in and so she gets her mom's old room and I must say it's a pretty cool room. And also just the fact that this lodge is located in this beautiful location in Northern Ireland just makes me even more jealous of this room. But basically you walk into her room and she's got this little seating area with the TV and this like mural, I guess, on the wall where she's got inspirational words like sueño and love. You move into the main part of her room and she has her bed and some more fairy lights and these records on the wall, which I think is a really cool idea. And then she's also got some posters in her room and some more chairs. And I just feel like it's so big and I love the color scheme of her room. I feel like it's a very bold, styling choice but I feel like it reflects Skye's character really well and I just think it's a really pretty room. I really like it. So at number seven I have Amber's room from Soy Luna and so Soy Luna is another Disney Channel Latin American show. It's about this girl whose parents get a job working at this mansion in Argentina and so they go and move there to work there and so Amber lives in the mansion and so Luna's room is pretty cool as well but it's in the servants quarters so it's not nearly as cool as Amber's room which I always found kind of weird because things kind of change in the third season but Luna still stays in the servants quarters. I was like I'm sure there's lots of rooms in this house why doesn't she move? I guess maybe she liked her room. Anyways, we're getting off track, back to Amber. I really like her room in the first two seasons. It's very pink and I just, I'm obsessed with it. Obviously I'm talking about her room before she goes through a rebellious stage and decides to cover everything in black spray paint, which I guess would sort of be a spoiler for the show. So I'm sorry if you haven't gotten a chance to check it out yet, but you should, season one is on Disney Plus. Anyways, back to Amber's room. I love it. You basically walk in, she's got a little seating area, a really pretty vanity and her bed and some pictures. And then the best part of her room is definitely her closet. It's huge and she's got this really cool like rack of her shoes and her skates are all lined up and then this cute little um chair in the middle of the room and I'm just obsessed with her room. I think it's really elegant and I really like the aesthetic of it and so that's Amber's room and it is number seven I think. 
So moving on to number six, I have Sid and Shelby's Room from Best Friends Whenever, which I actually just finished watching, and I gotta say, I didn't love the show, but I really loved the characters. Like, I really liked the main friend group. Anyways, I'm getting off topic again. Back to the room, which is Sid and Shelby's room, so they're best friends and they each have their own side of the room. And I'm pretty sure it's the attic of the house, which I feel like just makes it that much cooler. So you have Shelby's side, which is all neat and put together, and then you have Sid's side, which is like more reckless and I guess kind of punk is how you would describe her aesthetic. I don't know. But then in the middle of the room, they have this little seating area near the back. It's just a very big room and it's in her attic. And so it has a very rustic feel to it. And yeah, I liked it. I'm not sure if I would recommend the show, but I like their room. It's really cool. So moving on to number five, we have another best friend duo bedroom and that is Miley and Lily's from Hannah Montana. It was actually hard for me to decide which Miley room to include on this list because I really like both of them. But I ended up choosing this one mainly because I like the fact that they converted like a stable into their bedroom. I don't know why, I just think that that's really cool. But basically you enter their room, they both have their own beds and then they have a shared desk and a shared vanity, which obviously turns into the Hannah closet, which I feel like is a main reason why this one ended up being a bit higher on the list because it's the Hannah closet. Who did want that closet growing up and would probably still want it to this day because it's a pretty cool closet. Also, they had a jukebox in their room, which I just think is really cool. So at number four, we have Raven's room from That's So Raven, which I feel like might be the most iconic Disney Channel bedroom, mainly because she had an whole episode about her bedroom and its transformation, which is probably one of the best episodes from the show. But basically before this episode, Raven was living in the attic, which was still a pretty cool room as it was, but the whole thing of the show was that she didn't have enough room for her designs and so she wanted to move into the basement. Then this reality show comes in and renovates the whole room for her and it just turns it into like, one of the coolest rooms ever. She's got her own living room area and her own design station. And then the bed is like suspended from the ceiling. And so it swings back and forth, which now that I'm thinking of it, that might be a little bit annoying to just have your bed constantly be swinging. But at the time it was really cool. And I do still think it is pretty cool. And overall the room is just really big and colorful and very Raven. I just remember being so jealous of it. And I still am till this day. I think it's a pretty cool room. So moving on to number three, we have the Jonas Brothers bedroom from Jonas, which I'm not even sure if it really counts because I feel like their bedroom wasn't even a bedroom. It was like the whole second floor of their firehouse, but I feel like that just makes it even cooler. And they all had their own space. And so Nick's bed was under his drum set. Kevin's was like a tour bus bunk. And then Joe's was amongst amps. I don't remember what was cool about Joe's bed, but I'm sure there was something cool about it. And then they had their own like living room up there with the projector and everything. They had their own recording booth. Kevin had this really cool guitar spinning thing that had all of his guitars on it. And then Stella installed this like wardrobe thing that would design their clothes for them. And then to top it all off, they got to leave their bedroom by sliding down a fire pole. Overall, their bedroom was just so cool and I am very jealous of it to this day. So at number two, I have London's bedroom from The Sweet Life, which I'm kind of cheating with a little bit and including because I'm not just talking about her bedroom, I'm talking about the whole suite that she had at the Tipton because it was just everything. We mainly saw her living room in the show, which was pretty basic, but it did have a balcony, which is cool. And then we did get to see her bedroom in one episode and it did not disappoint. She's got like a huge bed and then a vanity on one side and these really cool glass doors on the other. But the main reason why I do have her room so high up is because of her closet, which we never really got to see in its entirety. But the way that London described it, it was basically like a shopping mall. It sounded amazing with like escalators and everything. And I just really couldn't ignore that while making this list. Also, if you lived in London's room, then you would get to live in the Tipton, which like who wouldn't want that? But before we move on to the number one room, I did have a couple honorable mentions I just wanted to list off. So first I had Kim Possible's room, which I remembered being a lot cooler than it actually was when I went and looked at it again, but it is in the attic, which is cool. And the stairs basically come out of the floor, which is also cool. And her room in the live action movie is cool as well. <laughs> and then I had Liv and Maddie's room because how could I make a video about best Disney Channel bedrooms and not talk about Liv and Maddie's room? Their room was the best and really represented their characters really well. And also Alex's room from Wizards Wiggly Place, mainly because of that one episode where she gets this fur wall, which now that I'm thinking of it is pretty ugly, but at the time I thought it was very cool. And lastly, Riley's room from Girl Meets World, which is pretty basic, but I couldn't ignore the bay window. We love the bay window. And so that's why I had to include it as an honorable mention. But with all that being said, let's move on to the number one room that I chose, which is Stars from Star vs. the Forces of Evil, which on the surface might seem like a little bit of a bland choice, but that's because we really only saw the main level of a room on the show. Any diehard fan like myself would know that her room had layers. It had multiple levels to it that really looked like they never ended. Like the staircase literally goes through the ceiling. Who knows 
what this room has in store. I also love the fact that Star built this room out of magic and so everything in the room was magic. There were so many times in the show where something would just show up because it was magical and it was just there chilling in her room. Also her bed is everything. I've always wanted like a canopy bed. I just think they're really cool. She's also got a magic mirror and a closet of secrets. Who wouldn't want that? Yeah, the main reason why I do have this bedroom as number one is just because it seems so magical and fun. I feel like I would never get bored in her room. So that's my favorite Disney Channel bedroom, but I wanna know what your favorite is. Don't forget to let me know down below. I can't wait to read all about it. Anyways, guys, my name is Caitlin. You can follow me everywhere at Kate Loves Disney. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. But that's all I have to say for today. I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Aren't you, YouTuber? Killing it with this video. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a little positive encouragement, you know?